watching over so we could have this historic memorable moment here and share it with all the youth that are here and I'm glad that Hank recognized the elders that are here and we also recognize all the youth that are here and all the workers in the schools the tribe and all the other organizations that have worked together again to bring this opportunity that we are here today on Earth Day this is a from as Anishinaabek recognizing our place with Mother Earth for native people as we come here together and share this it's something that we all have for future generations. Welcome everyone. Again, many thanks to each and every one of you who have taken the time to come out and help us and everyone joining together to recognize Earth Day. And I hope that you get dirty, that you love it, um, and that you won't be able to stop. That this is, that this is just a gateway drug to further land preservation and protecting your, your natural resources. I'd like to now uh, introduce David Malark, Archangel Reforestation. <coughs> hello, hello. Hello. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to see all the little lights here, all the children. What you're doing today is very important. It's an honor. And I think it's important for some of the some of us all to remember that the people that are hosting this and making this possible financially, these people have been here for thousands of years. So no matter where you live or where you go to school. They've been here much, much, much longer. But there's two or three things I'd like to bring to you. That there are children right now as we speak in Madison, Wisconsin, to the west, in a middle school that are planting these same trees today. There are eight schools in the Detroit area, in the Rouge River, one of the most polluted, destroyed rivers in the Detroit area. People have dumped things from the car industry. There's, there's eight schools of children today planting these same trees there. The tribe in Petoskey, is my understanding, are planting some there. So this project that's only two years old is beginning to grow and expand. So we're not the only ones doing this today. But Mother Earth today has given us our clothes, our food, our air, everything that we have. And it's a way to give back. And I can truly say that it gives me a lot of joy to see everyone here. And it's an honor to be invited. Thank you. <laughs>
gotta get footage it's of this. Here. In all the years, it's been 30 years since I've seen the show. Yeah. Like that? Um, actually, we've been doing that for the last You getting it? Oh, he's doing a great job. Uh, he's he is doing out great. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you got a. That a that a boy tiger. Well, all the way around. All the way around. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, today, at this particular site, we have uh, Grand Traverse Band Elders. We have uh, Bill Watson has some uh, Traverse City uh, Youth Corps. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Archangel Reforestation here. His family is here helping. Why are we planting here? Well, because these black willows are known to sequester the toxins from the soil and the water. They put out aerosols into the air that are great for for butterflies to get their color, for fish slime. It's, it's a way of working with our elders to, and the youth to try to bring back to our community and our environment some good things. Yep, just as long as they're about flush with the top of the... I think it's warmed up some too, isn't it? Because I don't remember seeing the sun coming out. Today we have people from all over nine different counties from that genetic homes of these great trees. We are, this is the national champion, Black Willow, the greatest tree for clean water and air and for wetlands. So what we're doing is we're preserving the genetics of these great trees.